Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. In this reading, we're gonna be looking at how your person is thinking, feeling about you, what are their inner thoughts and feelings, and I guess we'll look more closely also at like what they're planning to do in terms of this connection, their intentions towards this connection. I think I mentioned everything I need to mention there. And let's just jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Let's find out the overall energy first for Aquarius, spirit, and love. What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Overall energy for Aquarius. Okay, first card out, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I also read this as releasing the past. Overall energy, please, for Aquarius. Guarding love. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. What's the energy for past, present, and future for Aquarius spirit? Past energy, please. Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. So this is a card for me about like marriage, commitment. Present energy, please. Present energy for Aquarius. Standing firm, defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. Courage. Okay. Future energy. Future energy. Future energy. For Aquarius. Paralyzing fear. Anxiety, fear, paralysis. Fear is holding you back. So someone needs to be courageous, I feel, because something is going to be scary or... I feel like something is not easy for one of you. We'll see. Let's get into the tarot. Spirit, tell me more for Aquarius regarding love. Past energy, we have the Ace of Wands reverse. Present energy, we have the Nine of Wands reverse and the Lovers. Wow, Gemini energy here. So this is um, regarding a long-standing commitment. So for the Aquarius um, people that are watching this, this is for those of you who either you separately, like let's say you have been in a long-term commitment, your person has been in a long-term commitment, or you have been in a long-term commitment with this person. And right now there, there has been a lot of baggage, possibly trust issues, um, things that have gone on that have affected this connection. So in the future energy, 10 of coin reverse, yes. So I feel like there's something here regarding possibly a separation for one of you or, or between you. Bottom of the deck, overall energy is the three of cups reverse. So this could be some sort of third party interference. It could be a delayed reunion. Um, or something here is like you celebrated too early. We'll see. Let's clarify and get some more information here. Spirit, tell me more for Aquarius. Something did not work out in the recent past with this Ace of Wands reverse. Something's just off here. I feel like whatever that was, it's affecting your connection in the present. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, one of you, I feel, is scared to destabilize or scared of breaking a commitment or is scared of the fallout from having a broken commitment or a family situation go wrong here. All right, well, let's start with the overall energy. Why is the three, hold on. Why is the three of cups reverse? Why is the three of cups reverse? Ace of cups reverse. 
justice. Libra energy here. Six of Cups. Past um, energy here. Memories. Soulmate connection. See, it's like um, something in the past here, possibly. With the Six of Cups and the Ace of Cups reversed and Justice, it's like something was wrong and or something was heartbreaking or difficult and someone could be wanting to restore the balance. Others of you are dealing with a Libra, someone with a Libra in their chart. Perhaps there's a legal situation going on that has been difficult. Um, there's definitely third party um, energy here. I have the Three of Swords reversed. Something's in the way. Someone or something is in the way of your connection. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's married or perhaps you are married. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. The Sun. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. Queen of Swords. Something, yeah, this is clarity. Someone has gotten clarity about something. Something has, has come to light or is being seen very clearly. Someone, there could, this could be a communication that took place that, you know, brought something to the surface or, or, or shed a light on something. Can I get something for the eight, one more, can I get something? Can I get one more for the ace of ones reverse spirit? Strength reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo, someone Leo in their chart here. I feel like someone didn't have the courage to deal with whatever interference this was. Um, perhaps whatever came to light caused a uh, disconnect between you or like there's a wedge now between you. Tell me if this is resonating down in the comments. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse with the lovers. What's the Nine of Wands reverse with the lovers? Ten of Wands. Yes, there's a lot of baggage here. Exactly what I was saying. There's a lot of baggage here. One of you or both of you um, are dealing with a lot of baggage and it's affecting this connection. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands reverse with the lovers. Queen of Cups. I feel like um, emotions are still here though. So there's love. Or someone needs to use their intuition here. Two of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so with the Two of Pentacles reverse and the lovers, there's a choice that needs to be made between what your intuition is telling you, what your heart is telling you, and what your mind and intellect are telling you. There's someone that needs to have courage to make something, some sort of exchange or choice here. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles reverse. Please excuse my dog in the background. I don't know what he's doing. Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Four of Swords. This is about you. Okay, so making some sort of decision, taking some sort of action, and death, and ending a transformation, a change in their life. Someone needs to make a change in their life, and they're kind of like waking up to that. Scorpio energy with the death card. Because this is too much, whatever this is, this Ten of Wands, too much. Why is the Ten of Coin reverse? We have two cards here. We have a Ten of Coin, a Ten of Wands, and the Death card. Cycles ending here, coming to a close. Why is the Ten of Coin reverse? Eight of Wands reverse and Five of Swords. Someone is, I feel, yeah, this is about fearful of losing, of failing, having um, two of cups reverse. Okay, so some of you are dealing with a situation where one of you is fearful of breaking up with someone because there's going to be a loss that comes with that. Someone is fearful of failure. Someone is fearful of 
how things are going to play out. Can I get one more, please? It's almost like someone is, um, I don't know, they're just thinking about how much they would lose. The Emperor, Aries energy with the Two of Wands reverse. So this person needs to come into, needs to have courage, needs to, to step into this energy of taking charge of their situation, of bringing a situation back in con to control to, you know, maybe this is some someone that, maybe this is the masculine that has to make this decision. Tell me more about the emperor. The emperor is a wise, um, brave leader, person in authority. They are not scared of anything. Yeah, the tower reverse. Tell me more about the emperor. The emperor is a seasoned warrior, so they don't have any problems fighting. The devil, Capricorn energy. The devil and the tower reverse. Yeah, it's almost like this... Whatever's holding someone back, whatever situation was, I don't know what what what, what this devil could be because the devil is um things are going down the wrong path or being tempted, um, making wrong choices, um, putting yourself in a toxic situation or being bound to something that's unhealthy and unhealthy attachment. Um, the devil can mean um, kind of this. Um, energy of wanting what you want despite what the consequences will be right and typically that ends up leading you down the wrong path and so in the traditional tarot the devil card um it has two people with chains around their necks and they're very loose chains so they could take them off at any time but that's a choice you have to make you have to make the choice to break free of whatever is holding you back or keeping you stuck I feel like that's what this emperor needs to do because I have the tower here reversed with the devil. It's almost like there is a resistance to completely burning something down. <laughs> but that I feel is exactly what needs to take place here. Like something has to give. And I have the bottom of the deck. I have the nine of cups. So I feel like this would actually be someone's wish being granted or this would bring about some sort of emotional fulfillment or satisfaction for someone. Spirit, what's challenging or blocking this connection? What are the challenges or the blocks here for Aquarius and this other person? What are the challenges or the blocks? This could also be that one of you is standing very firm and willing to fight and the other one is scared as well. So take that as it resonates. Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like someone's worried about making the wrong choice. Perhaps they're overwhelmed, confused, not sure about, you know, what's what and what which cup would be the best. Challenges or blocks, please. The star. There you are, Aquarius, showing up to your own reading. Yeah, this is someone that's um, maybe daydreaming or wishing for something um, healing, having hope or faith. Uh, this is someone that needs to trust that things will work out. And maybe that's a challenge for someone. Yeah, this is someone. Um, okay, so I have the Knight of Wands reverse. I feel like whoever is making this decision, I feel it's a, it's a hard decision to make. Um, I think they need to be thinking of... First of all, listening to their intuition, listening to what their heart is telling them. But I'm also getting it's like they're scared to jump into something recklessly, impulsively, um, because it probably blew up in their face before. I'm also getting the message that some of you are dealing with someone who's married and who has not been faithful to their spouse. Please excuse my dog in the background. And now they're probably feeling guilty or regretting the situation that they're in, but they know they have to do something about it because now there's this third piece in the puzzle. That's just for some of you. That message will not resonate with all. But that's a message I'm definitely getting here. <clears throat> so let's see, what advice does Spirit have? Using my brand new seller guidance deck. This is also available now. You can Purchase it below in the description box. Spirit, what messages or advice do you have for Aquarius? 
What messages or advice? Luck is on your side. That's like the wheel of fortune. What message do you have for Aquarius, please? One more, please, Spirit. Oh, we got weeks from now. So this is pretty quickly something taking place here. Luck is on your side and then weeks from now. Bottom of the deck, we have released the past. So another card about releasing the past. Uh, one of you, whoever is the one that needs to break free of something, um, Spirit is saying that it's okay to do that. Um, you don't have to be fearful. Um, it might be difficult, but I feel like that's exactly what you are being guided to do. Now, I want to know more about this person that you are dealing with, Aquarius. You know, what are their true intentions? Thank you so much for checking out this reading. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. And also, if this resonated for you or you just want to say hi, then leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. And I will see you all in another video, hopefully. Take care.